Okay, so you like and you own quality dividend stocks, and you love the idea of generating a lot more cash flow with covered calls. But maybe you don't want to put your whole portfolio at risk, or you want to get started with a really, really small position. Great news, I've got six quality dividend stocks that are really low priced, yet still a great position to get started with covered calls. And the really good news for you is you can get started for as little, as little as $400. <laughs> All right, we're looking at my monthly dividend stock spreadsheet, which gives you just about everything you need to know to make an informed decision on quality dividend stocks. If you want to get access to just this spreadsheet on a monthly basis, you can join the Average Joe Investor Patreon community for only $5 a month. But if you want access to all of my spreadsheets, as well as my individual portfolio and all the changes I make, all the covered calls that I write on a monthly basis, and access to the Average Joe Investor Discord community, you can join the Average Joe Investor Patreon community at that level for only $15 a month. I guarantee you, you will earn many times over that amount with the covered calls that you write. To learn more about how to join the Average Joe Investor Patreon community, check out the link down in the description below. Okay, we're jumping right in here. Let's take a look at number six here. We're gonna start with the highest priced and work down to the cheapest dividend stock. Number one we're looking at here is US Bancorp, ticker symbol USB. They're in the financial sector and they're one of the largest banks in the United States. They've been raising their dividend now for 13 consecutive years. As of the time I updated this spreadsheet, the prices of April 9th was 35.75. However, right now it's priced at only 33.03 a share, which for the record is very close to their 52 week low price of 32.72. Their one, three, five, and 10 year growth rates are really solid at 5.6, 5.2, 10% and 9.3%. What this means is you have a dividend stock that is growing their dividend far and above the long-term inflation rate and very competitive with the higher inflation rates we're dealing with right now. Current dividend yield, 5.81% on this dividend stock compared to their average five-year dividend yield of 3.88%, which makes this approximately a 33% discount based on historical yield. They pay dividends quarterly at 192 per share annually, and their dividend payout ratio based on free cash flow is only 14% over the trailing 12 months and 30% last year. All of these dividend stocks that we're looking at have a weekly options chain. Let's take a look at it. All right, here's the option chain for US Bank. So you look here, here are the strike prices right here, currently priced at 3305. So here is our uh, at the money price right here. Let's say you wanted to write at a 22 delta, which is fairly conservative, but also gets you quite a bit of premium, which would be right here at the 3450 strike price. You'd come over here. This is the premium you could generate right now. We'll assume we get 20 cents per share or $20 for the option contract. Remember, every option contract is for 100 shares. So you need to own 100 shares in order to write a fully covered call option. Let's just assume we can generate $20 every week by writing a covered call at around a 22 delta. So we'll take $20 times 52, which means we're generating about $1,040 annually. We'll divide that by 100 to get it on a per share basis or $10.40 per share. We go back here, our annual dividend was 192 per share. So we take 1040, add 192, 1.92, means total cash flow per share annually is $12.32 per share. We take that, we divide by the current price, 3305. That's putting us at approximately a 37% yield, which is pretty insane. Even if we assumed we could go back here and let's say this was a little bit inflated, we only wanted to go with 10 cents per share. Well, let's look at that calculation. 0 0.10 times 52 means $5.20 per share annually, plus 192 for the dividend, gets us to 712 annually per share, divided by 3305 still puts us at a 21.54% yield. This is the most expensive dividend stock we're gonna look at on our list today. 3305 a share means you have to have $3,305 if you wanted to buy 100 shares today. All right, next up on our list here is HP Incorporated, ticker symbol HPQ. This one's actually in my portfolio right now. It's in the information technology sector of the economy. It's been paying increasing dividends consecutively for 14 consecutive years. Currently priced at $29.96 a share, fairly between the 52 week low and the 52 week high right here. One of the things I really like about HPQ is their dividend growth rate. The one year growth rate is 15.5%, the three years 15.1, the five years 13.5, and the 10 year growth rate 6.9% and their current dividend yield is 3.5% against a historical dividend yield of 3.05%, which means it's on a 13% discount 
relative to their five-year historical dividend yield. Again, they pay quarterly at 105 per share annually, and their dividend payout ratio, very safe. 51% over the trailing 12 months, and 19% for the previous year. Here's the options chain for HPQ. Again, this is a weekly options chain, currently priced at, we'll call it $30 per share right here at the money. You can go out here to a 30 delta or a 15 delta. Let's just assume we're gonna be a little bit more conservative. We'll write at the 16 delta instead of 30, though you could be more aggressive here and still lock in a profit. Let's assume we're only capturing about seven cents per share here. We'll go 0 0.07 right here. And we'll assume we can do that on a 52 week basis. So times 52, which means 364 per share annually. We add in their annual dividend of $1.05 per share, which means total cash flow per share is $4.69 per share. We take that, we divide it by their current price, $29.97, which means we're getting a dividend yield here of 15.64% annually. For the record, this means we are 5Xing our cash flow on this specific dividend stock. For HPQ, it's currently priced right around $30 per share, which means you need about $3,000 right now to buy 100 shares, but we're getting cheaper, so let's move on to stock number three. It seems like now, more than ever before, we get a ton of spam calls. Often these calls are very suspicious and we avoid becoming a victim of identity theft. However, these are just the tip of the iceberg. We are aware of and see only a fraction of the attempts to steal our personal information and identity. Every day, our personal information is at risk of being exposed and who knows just how much of your personal data is already out there on the web and the dark web for others to see. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. And that's why I'm excited to share with you today's video sponsor, Aura. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. They'll even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. You can use my link, aura.com forward slash average Joe, to try two weeks for free and see how many data brokers are sharing your information. It's also linked down in the description below, or you can scan the QR code. Aura also monitors your emails and passwords to see if they were involved in a data breach and exposed on the dark web, and gives you recommendations on what to do. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need, all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. And to be completely honest, you're gonna be shocked at just how much information Aura finds of yours during those first two weeks. Go to aura.com forward slash average Joe to start your free trial also linked below in the description, or you can scan the QR code. Stock number three here is the Bank of America Corporation, ticker symbol BAC. They're in the financial sector and they're one of the largest banks in the United States. They've been paying increasing dividends now for 10 consecutive years. Bank of America is currently priced at $29.21 per share, which puts them pretty close to their 52 week low of $26.32 per share. Bank of America has really solid dividend growth rates, 7.4, 8%, 14.9 and 36.1% over the past one, three, five, and 10 years. Their current dividend yield is 3.01% against a historical dividend yield of 2.44% over the past five years, which puts it at a roughly a 19% discount. Bank of America also pays quarterly dividends at an annual dividend rate of 88 cents per share. Do not be too alarmed by this payout ratio based on free cash flow. Yes, it's red, but the truth of the matter is when we look at banks, really what we should be focused on is net interest income. And with Bank of America, they have more than sufficient net interest income to cover their dividend. Okay, here's the option change for Bank of America. We're gonna look at an option seven days out here, which expires May 5th. Current price per share, $29.23. We'll put that, it's kind of slotted right in between these two strike prices. So we could look at a 40 delta or a 21 delta, which is the one I want to look at here, right at 21 delta, which is a $30 strike price. That's 11 cents per share right here or $11 for the actual option contract. We'll take 11 cents per share. We'll multiply that by 52, assuming we can do that 52 times per year. That equates to $5.72 per share in cash flow. We add in our annual dividend of 0.88 which gives us total cash flow for the year, approximately, of course, of $6.60. We then divide by the current price per share, 29.23, which gives us a cash flow yield of 22.58%. Remember that the current yield was 3%, so if we divide this by 
0.01%, which is what it is right now, this means our yield is 7.5 times what we would get with just the dividend. With Bank of America, given its price of 29.21 cents per share, that means you'll need about $2,900 in order to buy 100 shares today. Fourth dividend stock on the list is Fifth Third Bank Corp. Ticker symbol F-I-T-B. This is another bank. It's in the financial sector of the economy, paying increasing dividends now for 13 consecutive years. This also puts it relatively close to its 52 week low, which means this is probably good to be buying in based on just the price. Their dividend growth rates are really solid. 10.3, 9.2, 15.8, and 12.7 over the one, three, five, and 10 year dividend growth rates. Current yield is 5.04% against a historical yield over the past five years of 4%, which puts it at a 19% discount. They also pay quarterly dividends at 132 per share annually, and their dividend payout ratio based on free cash flow is very safe at 46% over the past year, and in the trailing 12 months, 16%. All right, here's the option chain for Fifth Third Bank Corp. Looking at the May 5th expiration or seven days out, the current at the money is right around here at $26 strike price. Let's look at a, we've got a 43 delta, or we can go to a 30 or a 20 right here, which is ideal. So 2750 strike price, we can capture between 10 and $20 here, or 10 and 20 cents per share. We'll go conservative, we'll assume we can only get 10 cents per share, though I think it's reasonable to collect 15 cents in this specific scenario. So we'll assume 10 cents per share, multiplied by 52 weeks, which gives us $5.20 annually in cash flow, add in our annual dividend, of $1.32 per share, which gives us total cash flow for the year on a per share basis of $6.52. We divide that by our current price, 26.19, excuse me, and that gives us a dividend yield of 25% or 24.89%. Even with this higher yielding dividend stock, this is still 4Xing our cash flow. Given the current price of $26 per share, it would cost about $2,600 to buy 100 shares today, but we're getting cheaper. Next up on the list here is a smaller bank, Key Corp. Ticker symbol K-E-Y. They're a regional bank in the United States in the financial sector of the economy, raising their dividend now for 13 consecutive years. Currently priced at $11.28 per share, which is very close to their 52 week low. And their dividend growth rates are also very solid. 5.3%, 3.3%, 14.9%, and 14.9% here over the past one, three, five, and 10 years for the growth rate. And their dividend yield is solid right now, seven. 7.27% against a historical yield of only 4.9%, which is an effectively a 33% discount based on their historical dividend yield. They pay dividends quarterly at a rate of 82 cents per share annually. And their dividend payout ratio based on free cash flow is 79% over the past year and 18% over the trailing 12 months, which again for banks though, we should be focused on net interest income as opposed to payout ratio based on free cash flow. All right, currently so priced at $11.29 per share, which is right in between these two right here. So we've got an 11.50 strike at a 40 delta, which is pretty aggressive. So we're gonna drop down to the $12 strike at a, only a 15 delta. Now this one has clearly a smaller option chain, which is a reality when you get to smaller dividend stocks. So we're just gonna make an assumption that we can capture five cents per share on this or $5 for every option contract. I understand this is a thin option chain. Let's make that assumption. Multiply by 52 weeks, gives us annual cash flow from the options of $2.60, add in our annual dividend of 0.82, which gets us to $3.42 per share annually in cash flow. We divide that by our current price per share, $11.29, which gives us an annual cash flow yield of 30%, 30.29%. And if you divide that by our current yield of 0 0.07, well, that puts us at a 4Xing our cash flow by utilizing covered calls. And the great thing with Key Corp here is that their current price is $11.29 a share. This means that you need a lot less money, only $1,100 to buy 100 shares of Key Corp, and you can get started with relatively low risk here with selling covered calls. All right, last stock we're looking at here, really cheap, a really easy and effective way to start selling covered calls on a really small position to get your feet wet and understand how things work out and have really low risk. Stock we're looking at here is Sirius XM Holdings, ticker symbol S-I-R-I. -I. They're in the communication sector of the economy, and they've been paying increasing dividends now for seven consecutive years. All right, they're currently priced at $3.79 per share, which is really close to their 52 week low of 3.43 per share. Their dividend growth rates here are really solid, 26%, 22%, and 17% over the past one, three, and five years. Their current dividend yield is only 2.56% right now, 
but that's over double their historical five-year yield of 1.24%, which is a 52% discount. They pay quarterly dividends at only 10 cents per share, and their dividend payout ratio based on free cash flow is pretty solid at 24% over the past 12, trailing 12 months and the past year. And you can see that their free cash flow per share is increasing every single year, 34 cents, 37, 39, 40 cents per share. All right, here's the option chain for Sirius XM Holdings. It's a weekly options chain, but it's gonna be very thinly traded compared to the others, we recognize that. But again, the goal of this is not to make this a main port of our portfolio, but just to kind of get our feet wet here. Current price is 379, so we're right in between 350 and four. But right here at the $4 strike is a 22 delta, so we're gonna run with that we can get between one and five cents per share, which is small, but then again, this is a small stock. Let's just assume that we can get we'll, right in between, we'll go with two cents per share. We'll go a little bit conservative instead of three cents. So we'll take 0 0.02, we'll multiply by 52, okay? Which gets us to $1, four cents per share annually. We add in our annual dividend of 10 cents per share, which gets us the total cash flow for the year of $1, 14 cents per share, we divide by the current price of 379. This gives us an annual cash flow yield of 30.07%, which is 15x over what we were gonna get if we just own it for the dividend. And I recognize, hey, this is a small dividend stock. The option chain is very small. You might not be fully able to capture two cents per share every time you sell, but the reality is for a dividend stock that only costs you to, to buy 100 shares, what, like $380? right now for 100 shares, this is a great, easy, simple way to get started, get your feet wet, make some mistakes, learn quite a bit. All right, so these are the six dividend stocks we talked about here. Again, if you want access to this spreadsheet, no problem. Join the Average Joe Investor Patreon community. There's a link down in the description below to learn more about that. Hopefully you found some value in this video, guys. Make sure to leave your two cents down in the comments below. It's my goal to respond to all comments that are left on the day I post a new video. That's all I got for you guys in this video. Have a great rest of your day, and Thanks for watching.